when did you realize that wait, that's illegal, yesterday actually, my little brother was out in the woods, and found a mobile meth lab tied up in a tree, basically a bunch of supplies, to cook slash smoke meth all shoved in a bucket, and for some reason he brought it back to the house, I called the sheriff's department, to come pick it up, because wtf am I supposed to do with that, right, well two deputies came out to my house, well didn't touch the thing, so finally I put on gloves, and opened it up, so they could see what was in it, they took a little case full of pipes, and told me to just figure something out with the rest of it, because they didn't want it in their car, the solution they finally came up with was for me to transport a bucket of methamphetamine in my personal vehicle, because I drive a pickup truck, to the closest gas station and dump it illegally in their dumpster, so yeah that was sick got pulled up by security for theft was let go instantly for being such a young kid at the time and starting to cry as well as lying about what i stole and why i needed it when they were pulling my bag to make sure i couldn't run away i said something about how they can't assault a child pull me around because that's illegal security guard was like so is theft and i just remember being like oh how that's when it hit me, they were right so I just kinda stood there, and was like it now what, fair enough yeah have a point there. I worked in aerospace, which uses a lot of EDM oil that is delivered in 55 gallon metal barrels, when the barrel is empty it's considered hazardous waste, unless you cut off both ends, then it magically becomes a pipe, that can be thrown away in a regular dumpster, hell of a loophole. When I was in middle school me and a friend ambushed cars that went by with nerf guns and put cones in the street so cars would drive silly and we thought it was funny as hell. Then this guy pulled over, got out of his car, walked up to the house and had a talk with my friend's grandpa. My friend's grandpa had no idea that we had been ambushing cars. After a few minutes the man walks back to his car and pulls away. Then friend's grandpa had a talk with us. Apparently we had made a dent on the guy's car, but the guy said that he was not worried about the dent. He said he didn't want someone to shoot back at us with a real gun, and that we should be safe and not do bad things like that. Me and my friend realized how stupid we had been, and never ambushed cars with nerf guns, or put cones in the road, to make cars drive silly again. I'll never forget that guy. When my former employer claimed my 29 hours of outstanding vacation pay was actually recalculated, and I had a negative amount, and thus would receive nothing. The provincial labor board also agreed that was illegal. Similarly my boss told me that I did not get vacation time as a part-time employee. Unfortunately for them, I worked over the maximum amount of hours part-time employees could enough over the years I qualified as full-time. Well no one told me, and my company rolled over all vacation time. I worked there for 3 years, and when I went to quit hours asked me why I never took a vacation. I said never mind I'm not quitting. And instead of asking for vacation time I called in sick for a month straight then just never showed up one day. Surprisingly they forgot about me instead of firing me, and a year later they called to ask if I had quit, or become too ill to work. I said I quit, and they sent me a paycheck for another 2 weeks of PTO I didn't know about. Was 18 years old at a college party in a wildlife refuge, not cool, I know. 3 cop cars show up lights and sirens. Friend hands me his keys, and says you are the least drunk get us out of here. I just went with it, drove past all three cars and evaded them, along with many others, through the streets of the city. Woke up the next day wondering, if I had a wild dream until my roommate showed me a video of it. I've never done anything like that ever before, or after that incident. I got laid off from a writ job at a small accounting firm. Check my final pay sheet, because the total seemed light, HMM. They didn't include my unused holidays, as required by law. They were accountants, so there was no way it was an accident. A hop, skip and a jump later, I was talking to the local ombudsman. Based on his recommendation I sent a polite letter pointing out the oversight. Also the fact that the ombudsman had informed me I had a cast iron case if I wanted to take them to court. Six days later, I received a check in the mail. Always check your pay sheets. People know your rights. Teal dear accountants laid me off and tried to scam part of my pay. Bad call. I was snorkeling in Hawaii and a sea turtle swam up from underneath me like flat against my stomach. It was very cool. 
but I panicked, because of you touch them there is a huge fine, I kept trying to push it away from me, but it kept bumping into me, I was like 10, I was convinced I was going to jail. Needed a special sized socket, to repair my car in college, 1973, didn't know this, until I had it mostly apart, called Sears for a price, dollar sign dollar sign because my dad always said to buy craftsman, girlfriend drives us over, where the sales guy pulls it out, and rings it for 2x, what he told me, we get into an argument and the dude smirked, and said to bad, didn't have the now $30 price, and left empty handed, when we get back out to the car my girlfriend pulls the socket out of her purse, I'd never stole anything in my life. Grew up in the country 2 hours away from the city, where you had to go shopping, see doctors, etc. My grandma had Parkinson's disease, and had a difficult time driving. I was obsessed with being behind a wheel as my grandpa would often let me drive on his lap around the farm we owned. Grandma would often let 9 year old me drive her the 2 hours from her house to the city, going the 65 miles per hour speed limit, she rolled right shotgun in the passenger seat, so I was in the driver's seat by myself, I knew little to nothing about road safety, or checking my blind spots, I was just good at steering to keep the car between the lines, and going the speed limit, I was riding the brakes the whole drive, both feet on the pedals, it is a miracle I'm still alive, and wasn't killed. Boy did I have fun though, loved my grandparents. Moved to Quebec for the summer, and I turned 18 the day I arrived. Drinking age in my home province is 19, and in Quebec, is 18 so it felt, like I had a cheat code. Didn't know that you're not allowed to have open alcohol in public until cops drive by, and told us. Oops sorry, didn't know, I don't speak French, bye. Worked like a charm. It also worked, when we were caught cutting through train tracks in Slovakia, oops didn't know this was trespassing, we don't speak Slovak and our passports are back at the hotel, bye. Had a guy pulling through the parking lot behind the mall where I worked, and got upset we had vehicles outside the install bay, and started screaming at us, I said driving through a parking lot, to avoid a traffic light is illegal, and he whips out his wallet and shows me his sheriff's badge, I pointed out to him that using his badge, to intimidate a kid during the commission of a crime was likely something his superior officer would love to hear about he wouldn't let me get his badge number got into his car with his wife and kids and left. Couple cowalkers took me out for my 21 street birthday, me and a few people were walking ahead to the billiards hall, when we hear one of the others say wait a minute and the sounds of plastic chopping onto metal, I turn around, and see them snorting coke lines off of those big green electrical boxes under a street lamp, which was across the street from a pretty busy gas station, when I saw it, I just processed it as someone needing a minute to tie their shoe, but then my brain buffered, and it clicked, wait. Coke is illegal, I should have seen it coming though, they were a bunch of line cooks. Worked for a small manufacturer in US, plans for a job come in from the Swiss office of a US headquartered customer, I get to work on the estimate, start to enter some stuff into the system and check the title block for project info, it's for a facility in Fine Terran, google it up, yep. Definitely illegal to sell materials for the job, I print out all the relevant law, and write ups from the state debt, and deliver it to the COO, was just like, yeah not gonna touch this, a few months later I hear the COO and VP chatting over the phone about arranging payment and shipment for exactly the kind, finish, and amount of material, except there was no project record in the system. When the local government told my business to keep a database of fake allegations against people and use it as evidence for why they cannot be subcontractors for said local government, when told that's illegal they said do it, or else we'll sue you, and make you do it, we still refused. Their lawyer sent us a letter demanding we follow their directions. We replied asking said lawyer to sign a waiver saying we are not liable for crimes being forced upon us by the local council. Then the lawyer looked into what demands he'd been asked to enforce and went ballistic at the government employee and that guy's boss and his boss. Needless to say, but that employee is still in charge of that department, and has since been promoted. I had an old girlfriend. 4 years difference, 
She was in her senior year in high school and I just had finally finished my undergraduate. We did a community show together and how we met while we were still within the right age of consent. I turned 23 a couple months later and she wasn't going to be 18 until late summer. We never had anything intimate. But she broke up with me because I still liked to play Nintendo games and thought I was too old to be doing that. Flash forward to today, and we are both married with kids. But her husband plays video games for extra money as he is a marketer for game companies, so go figure. Apparently there were certain interview rules, where you can't ask specific questions regarding your ethnicity, citizenship or national origin, marriage slash family status, age, religion etc. I was always asked these for the longest time, until it eventually stopped for some reason. So often that I thought it was normal, turns out it was illegal, and it was sad for me to find out one day. Ever since then, I just make it a habit, to find out what the illegal questions are for specific countries slash places beforehand but damn. In learning from this, I always told anyone I knew that is starting their job search, to please look that stuff up to make sure you're not giving up info that you don't have to during the interview where it really doesn't matter for your actual capability to perform the job anyway was with a group of friends a few years ago and we had this one 18 year old and her 15 year old friend male dude was actually rather cool we was walking the trails of yellow springs where dave chappelle lives and we had two bottles of crown all of us were hammered walking around these cliffs through a forest. Sun went down, and we couldn't see a foot in front of our faces. Being out all day driving around, our phone batteries were low so our flashlights ended up dying. God knows how we made it back to the jeep, but we did. All of us basically spinning. Sick type drunk had a 45 minute drive back home to northern Cincinnati area. My friend, driver, was so drunk he rounded a corner going at least 60 in an older Grand Cherokee. Turn was rated for maybe 35. He instantly pulled over and told me bro you gotta drive I'm gonna end up killing us. So I took the wheel and drove all the way home. No music, no talking, nothing was allowed because I needed to focus. Was the absolute hardest test of my life. Stopped by McDonald's and got late night burgers and fries of course. When we were back in town finally we all get down to that same friend's basement. And as we're all laying down I sat up and shouted I got US home guys, and fell asleep laying on top of a large fry dumped all over the air mattress and a half eaten double cheeseburger in my hand. When I woke up I realized just how much trouble I world actually got in. If I was caught that's my story sorry, if it's a long read.